you are looking at a live shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. An overcast morning, but lots of sunshine on the way through a good chunk of the long weekend. Uh, we have been hearing so much about uh, the plastics that are being found, discovered in our oceans. And we are fortunate to be joined by someone that is doing something about it. Chloe Dubois, you are co-founder and president of Ocean Legacy Foundation. Tell yes. us about your organization. So the Ocean Legacy Foundation uh, really works on developing an integrated program that combines education, uh, policy and advocacy work, infrastructure development, and hands-on cleanup. And we're essentially creating an international framework um, for plastic pollution emergency response. And there's so much plastic pollution out there, and we need the emergency response. On that note, one of the big projects that you guys recently undertook, you're out in Bamfield on the west side of Vancouver Island. Tell us about this. Yeah, so we took a crew of about 12 people, and we were working in partnership with the Huyat First Nations. Um, and we were basically isolating hotspot areas, going to those areas, working with local communities, and removing large amounts of plastic pollution on some of the most remote islands of British Columbia. What were you finding out there? Oh, I mean, anything that you can throw away in a landfill, put in your garbage, we'll eventually find along our shoreline. So we were finding, you know, I think we collected close to a thousand water bottles, uh, tons of bottle caps, uh, fishing gear, a lot of industrial rope, that kind of thing, tampon applicators. And we're looking at tons and tons of plastic items here. Uh, there's a drone shot of you and your crew there working away, organizing some of the plastics. How does, you know, how does this all end up in our ocean? It can't just be from, you know, we know what happens with the fishing gear, but someone throwing a plastic bottle into the water. Is it falling off container ships? Or I, I don't know where it all comes from. We know where some of it comes from, of course. Yeah, um, it's really just from mismanagement. So even through, you know, our recycling systems, those recyclable materials have to be transported. There's leakage in there. There's leakage from people, you know, just dumping. And a lot of this waste is international, but a lot of it's domestic as well. So, I mean, the, the plastic finds its way in in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Aside from the cleanup work, what other things are you guys doing to, uh, say, eliminate these plastics or at least recycle them in a usable way uh, where we're getting sort of a secondary use out of them? Mm -hmm. So we're actually, we've gotten a federal grant this year, excitedly enough, um, and we're working on developing new infrastructure for the Vancouver and broader community to recycle netting and rope and repelletizing that into plastic to plastic processing. But we're also working on innovative technologies to take plastic and convert that into a light crude oil. Tell us about the event that you have coming up. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly exciting. Um, it's being hosted by the Victoria International Marina in conjunction with Natural Talent Alliance. Um, it's an all support for the Ocean Legacy Foundation. And it's an eco fashion show and innovative challenge that was presented to fashion designers around the world. And uh, 60 applications were submitted and only 10 got selected. And this is going to be an exciting showcase of those pieces of art. Um, and it should be a great community event. So what was done is you took re used plastics that were recovered and you gave them to fashion designers or they were given to fashion designers to come up with something? Yeah, and, and I think it's important to note that Ocean Legacy started the first and only Ocean Plastic Collection Center in Canada. And so we're working with dozens of communities to collect plastic across the province. And so this plastic is coming from the hands of hundreds of volunteers around the province. And uh, yeah, this plastic was basically then given to these fashion designers in a, a big box and they opened that and they so their designs were selected when they applied and now it's their time to create uh, those designs and then showcase them at the event. It should be incredible. How can, you know, me, everyone get involved? Yeah, um, you could come to the event. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go to the website vim, V-I-M, futureoceans.com and buy a ticket there. Um, or you can check out our website, oceanlegacy.ca. You can come on a cleanup, uh, start your own cleanup. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you okay, so much for yeah, coming in. Wonderful. Great work that you're doing, Chloe. Thank you. Coming up.